Hi guys, I don't know about you, but when I'm traveling, I love to get out into nature and just make sure that I'm seeing all the plants and flowers that it has to offer. For me personally, I get tons of inspiration to take back into my own garden. And you should definitely check us out at gardendesign.com where you can check out our self-guided tours that take you all across the globe. We are always adding more. And today we're talking about Austin, Texas. In our tour today, we'll come from local garden designer, Diana Kirby, and she's provided three of her favorite spots and a couple key things to do once you get there, so let's take a look. All right, so the first stop on our list is the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center, and there they are known for their native wildflowers that grow in the spring. In particular, April is a really good time to visit, but you can also visit for the other seasons and check out all of their other flowers that are in bloom and also their wild grasses. And a couple other things to check out while you're there are their arboretums and their observational towers. And also they have really cool interactive mazes and even an owl's nest that's made out of grapevine. So the second stop on Diana's list is the Zelker Botanical Garden and this is right in the heart of Austin. There you can visit a couple mini themed gardens including their Japanese garden that has a traditional tea house as well as their prehistoric garden that has plants that date back all the way to when dinosaurs roamed the world. And then also they have an organic garden right in their Pioneer Village. And the last stop on our list for Austin is the Mayfield Park and Preserve where you can see tons of roaming peacocks all over the premises. They have strolling gardens that take you through a view of Lake Austin and also six picturesque ponds where you can see lily pads and other plants that grow as well. So grab your friend or your favorite travel buddy and get out there and go explore some of Austin's great botanical gardens and parks. And be sure to check us out at gardendesign.com for some more self-guided tours. Thanks for watching.